What if I told you that the INFP you know is just the tip of an intricate, colourful iceberg? Beneath the surface of daydreams and idealism lies a world far more complex than you ever imagined. Today, we're diving deep to uncover the eight distinct flavours of this often misunderstood personality type. Are you ready to unlock the INFP's deeper secrets? To understand why they're drawn to the impossible like moths to the flame? And perhaps most intriguingly, are you prepared to discover which of the eight INFP subtypes might be hiding within you? Let's find out. First up, we have the Daydreamer. These INFPs have an imagination so vivid they could probably visualize a new color. They're the ones who can turn a trip to the grocery store into an adventure worthy of its own novel. While you are planning your weekend, they are mentally casting the movie adaptation of their own nice story. Pro tip, if you see a daydreamer INFP staring into space, do not disturb them. They're probably solving world hunger or imagining what their dog would sound like if it could talk, probably with a British accent, because why not? The daydreamer's natural habitat, anywhere with a window to stare out of. Their kryptonite, reality is just not as interesting as the fantasy world playing inside their head 24-7. Then we've got the sensitive artist. These INFPs have emotions that flow deeper than the Mariana Trench. They don't just wear their hearts on their sleeve, they have an entire gallery of emotions on display. They're creative powerhouses who can turn a minor inconvenience into a chart-topping indie song faster than you can say, who hurt you? Their art is profound and expressive, and it only shows about 5% of what they actually feel like on the inside. Warning, if you are their friend, do not ask what's wrong unless you are ready with a sympathetic ear and some time for a chat. Their emotions are like an open book and they're always ready to share another chapter with the person they know. The sensitive artist spirit animal, a peacock with anxiety. Beautiful, expressive, but also constantly worried about what everyone thinks about its feathers. The idealistic reformer INFP is here to save the world. One strongly worded tweet at a time. They've got more causes than a conspiracy theorist has wild theories. These are the folks who organize protests for animal rights, while their own cat plots world domination from the comfort of its designer bed. They believe in better worlds so hard they make Captain Planet look like a climate change denier. Just a heads up, if you use a plastic straw around them, be prepared for a TED talk on sea turtles that'll make you want to personally apologize to every fish in the ocean. Their passion is also contagious. You might start the day as a regular person and end up as a vegan zero waste warrior. The idealistic reformist theme song, it's imagined by John Lennon but with occasional lyric changes to make it more inclusive and uh, environmentally friendly. The people pleaser INFP. These sweethearts have never met an opinion they couldn't agree with. They're so accommodating, they apologize to walls when they bump into them. They are sweeter than a puppy with big eyes, but sometimes they're so busy making sure everyone else is okay, they forget about themselves. Self-care? Nah, who needs that? Life hack for people pleaser INFPs. It's okay to say no sometimes. The world won't end if you don't help your coworker move for the third time this year, I promise. Your own feelings matter too. They're not just decorative Christmas lights you put up for others' enjoyment. The people pleaser superpower, it's the ability to nod sympathetically in 17 different languages. Their kryptonite, getting a group of people to agree on where to go for dinner. The free spirit INFP is wilder than the Amazon forest. They march to the beat of their own drum. Actually, forget the drum. They're marching to the sound of a rainstorm or the sound of falling stars. These are the friends who decide to become van life people one day and professional sword swallowers the next. 
their spirit animal is a butterfly with commitment issues and a passport full of stamps. Word of advice, if a free spirit INFP invites you on a quick adventure, pack for at least a week. You never know if you end up at a local coffee shop or in a submarine exploring the lost city of Atlantis. Their life motto, why not? Which is both inspiring and uh, slightly terrifying. The free spirit nemesis, anything with the word routine in it. Their favorite game, spontaneous geographical roulette. They close their eyes, spin a globe and book a ticket to wherever their finger lands. Type six, the overthinking philosopher. INFP can get analysis paralysis just by trying to select what next song to listen to. These deep thinkers ponder life's big questions. Why are we here? What's the meaning of existence? Is cereal a soup? Are cats really superior alien species that enslaved humans for their own benefit? An overthinking philosopher INFP once started pondering the concept of time and ended up inventing a new calendar system based on naps and coffee breaks. It's actually quite efficient if wildly impractical. The overthinking philosopher's dream job? Professional paradox resolver. And their nightmare is a world without questions. Their brain is like a Wikipedia. It's full of random information, occasionally unreliable, but always fascinating. The social chameleon INFP has a new personality for each person they meet. They are so adaptable, they could be convinced by a group of penguins to join their group. These INFPs try to fit into any social situation by mirroring others, but sometimes they are so busy adapting to others, they forget who they are. Identity crisis? More like identity buffet. Pro tip for spotting a social chameleon INFP. They are the ones who can switch from sunny like a surfer guy at the beach to a tech guru at a conference to a classic rock fan at a concert, all within the span of a single day. Their closet is less a collection of clothes and more a catalog for potential personalities. The social chameleon's greatest fear? Being asked, just be yourself. Their response to that is, uh, which one? The last but not least, we've got the conflict avoider INFPs. These ninjas of deflection could teach a masterclass in changing the subject. They don't just avoid conflict, they treat it like it's a game of emotional hide and seek where they are always hiding. They are so non-confrontational they let GPS walk over them. Take the next right. Well, if, if, if that's what you think, that is for the best. Fun challenge. Try to get a conflict avoider INFP to choose a restaurant. You'll either see a live demonstration of a decision paralysis or discover that I'm good with anything is actually their favorite menu option. The conflict avoider's spirit animal it's a diplomat penguin in a tuxedo, expertly sliding between icebergs without causing a ripple. Their ideal world? It's one where every disagreement is settled with a polite nod and a perfectly timed smile. Remember, these types aren't mutually exclusive. You might be a sensitive artist on Mondays, a free spirit on Wednesdays and a full-blown idealistic reformer on weekends. Being an INFP is complicated. They are colorful, ever-changing and sometimes occupied with their own thoughts. To all the INFPs out there, keep dreaming big, feeling deeply and maybe, just maybe, finish one of these novels that you started. The world needs your special brand of magic and possibly a, a little guide to understand what goes on in your heads. And to everyone who loves an INFP, buckle up. It's going to be a beautiful, messy and incredibly creative ride. Don't forget to bring snacks and a notebook. You never know when inspiration will strike or when they will need a, a hug. Let me know in the comments which type of INFP you are. Are you a blend of several types or a completely new type that um, we haven't covered? 
or are you still trying to figure it out while simultaneously questioning the nature of personality itself? Until next time, keep your head in the clouds and your feet, um, well, somewhere in the vicinity of the ground. Stay dreamy, stay idealistic and never stop believing in the power of your imagination. Goodbye.